Uh, hello friends, today in this tutorial I will be telling you about a JavaScript or jQuery plugin which is used to uh, create social sharing buttons on your website, on your blog or any kind of website that you have. So the plugin name is very simple which is C-Share. So basically there is a website called as jQueryScripts.com. It is a great website that lists out various jQuery plugins that you can use in your applications. The one plugin that I am talking about in this video is C-Share, Social Share Buttons. As you can see here on your screen, there is a small demo. You can have Facebook, Google+, Line, Pinterest, Twitter, Tumblr, all that uh, social sh sharing buttons appearing on your website uh, like this. It is very simple. Just go to its uh, website here, jQueryScripts.com, and here you need to search uh, uh, C Share plugin of jQuery custom social share buttons, and it will give you a download button. Just click on this download button, and then it will give you a zip file. And now the job is pretty simple. You need to cut the zip file, and after that, you need to go to any kind of folder that you have created for your project. I have created this pro uh, folder. Just paste this zip file, and now you need to extract the contents. So just select extract here, and it will give you this folder here. And this folder will contain various uh, documents. Go to the distribution folder if you want to create a custom, uh, custom installation. Then you can just have these two files: jQuery dot C share JS or jQuery main dot JS. So these are two plugin files that you can include in, in, in your JavaScript file. But uh, if you want to follow the documentation, there is a documentation folder here. Just go to the docs folder and then you will find this JS folder. Inside this there is a plugin file which is jQuery.c.share. And you will find this index.html file. This is exactly what we want. We need to open command line at this junction. I will open my Visual Studio Code text editor. And now you will find this is a documentation, official documentation about this plugin. So this is the index.html file. And basically I need to right click open with live server. So basically it will live, it will open this file. And let me just open this is inside my Google Chrome. So basically this is the official plugin here. You can see that jQuery plugin C share buttons. It is also available in GitHub. If I open this in, on new tab, you will have you, you will find the GitHub repository if you want to find out more information about this plugin. Coming on to the installation part is it is very simple. You can even use this plugin with the node package manager if you want to use it inside Node.js application. The command is very simple npm install jQuery dash plugin dot C dot share or you can just install it by yarn. The choice is yours. And this is a very basic example. You need to call this library on any individual element that you need to show the sh social share buttons. So it is targeting this share block element by its ID. That is why it is put this hash symbol. And this library contains this C share method and this takes some options. First is description. So basically whatever you put it here will be showing to whenever you share this stuff. So you can write it any anything of your choice depending upon your website. If you want to have a blog, you will be writing your title of the blog or title of the web page here in the description. The next is the show buttons. Basically this is an array and it contains various methods, various uh, constants. So FB stands for Facebook, G plus stands for Google plus. So basically if I click Facebook here, it will be sharing this uh, local host URL here. So basically depending upon your URL, it will be automatically uh, copy your URL and it will share this onto your Facebook. So here you can just write anything here and then click on the share button. So basically it will post to Facebook. Similar goes to the Google Plus as well. I think that Google Plus is depreciated because Google Plus doesn't work here. So now you will see that Google Plus is no longer available for consumer and brand accounts. So you can even search share to line as well. So this is a very simple uses of uh, you know how to use on your website. I think that you will not need 
any technical stuff about this plugin it is very simple i have explained to you and uh, you can check out the github repository if you want to deep dive inside this plugin so you can even set spacing options as well so the default is six or you can just define your own spacing so that's it guys for this plugin so if you like this video then please hit the like button subscribe this channel and also hit the notification bell icon and i will be seeing you in the next video until then thank you very much